Thank you. Thank you very much. Excuse me, excuse me just one minute. I, I'm sorry, I just had to get one last photo of the senator before Kentucky voters retire him in November. Retire him, they will. Because Kentuckians are tired of the partisan bickering in Washington. They're tired of dysfunctional government. They're tired of name calling. They're tired of obstructionism. And Senator McConnell has been chief obstructionist for the last 30 years. Yes, it is time for a change. It is time to send Allison Lundergan Grimes to the United States Senate. Now, in contrast to Washington, D.C., we still know how to make democracy work in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. You know, Republicans control the state Senate. Democrats control the state House. So we're a divided government. And yet, Kentucky passes balanced budget. We've improved funding for schools. We raised our dropout age. We expanded substance abuse treatment and cracked down on prescription drug abuse. We reformed our pension system. We protected our seniors. We expanded preschool access. That's why our schools are ranked in the top 10 in the country. That's why we set export records each of the last two years. That's why we're number one in business growth. But, but, the scary thing is, the scary thing is all of that cooperation come November could vanish in the blink of an eye. Republicans have set their sights on taking over the Kentucky House in November. That's all right. That's all right because Republicans in the State House have a track record. And that track record is voting against progressive government and progressive ideas. And if they get control of the House, Kentucky will no longer be progressing in the Commonwealth of Kentucky or around this country. Hey, you don't have to take my word for it. Look at their record. In January, I proposed sorely needed raises for our teachers. House Republicans voted against those raises. But House Democrats, who control the House, joined with Senate Republicans, and they passed teacher raises. And they need those raises. When it comes to increases in classroom funding, school safety, textbooks, technology, House Republicans again said no. But House Democrats, who control the House, joined with Senate Republicans, and they stood up and said yes to our kids. When it comes to the lake bridges, you know the new bridges that we're starting to build over Kentucky Lake and Lake Barkley, House Republicans voted against funding those two projects. But House Democrats stepped up with Senate Republicans, and by golly, we're funding those bridges and we're gonna see them here in Western Kentucky. When it comes to building I-69, widening I-65, improving the Penaral Parkway, House Republicans again said no. But House Democrats joined with Senate Republicans and voted for those critical Western Kentucky projects. 
When it came time to expand high-speed broadband and move Kentucky into the 21st century and create jobs, House Republicans again said, no way. But House Democrats joined with Senate Republicans and they passed broadband access and we're gonna create a lot of jobs in the 21st century. So listen to me, look at the record. If Republicans take control of the State House, they will try to run the state just like Mitch McConnell tries to run Washington by saying no to progressive ideas, by obstructing, by being divisive, and by putting partisan politics and personal power above everything else. That won't be good for Kentucky just as it hasn't been good for the United States of America. Kentucky needs leaders who care about Kentucky families. We need leaders who think that it is their job to create jobs. And who will vote to move this state forward. That's why we need Allison Lundergan Grimes in Washington, D.C. And that's why, that's why we need to keep the Kentucky House in the hands of the Democrats. Thank you all very much.